morning everybody uh, good morning and thanks to dr boran for giving me the opportunity this is the third time last two times i presented my csv me video but this time i think something different i need you know, something but there is two lines in my topic one is my longest retinal detachment surgery and second is longest day due to mis mas masquerading sign so i just try to incorporate these two and make a single video so i tried this hope you will like so this is a this is an old video uh, in the era of accuras uh, 54 years old male patient presented with dimness of vision in right eye for one year presenting vision in right eye pl pr accurate and left eye 66 right eye posterior synechia posterior subcapsular cataract iop 6 and rapd left eye clear lens iop 15 mm of mercury right eye total rd with extensive pvr changes peripheral details not clear very vascular malformation in the superonasal periphery it's not clear in the preoperative assessment left eye foh so I have planned to go for cataract extraction with IOL implantation, with vitrectomy, and silicon oil implantation. So. This is the situation.
postoperatively patient gain 636 vision after removal of silicon oil from right eye. Hegler and North have reported that macro cyst medium sized isolated cysts are almost always seen in the long standing retinal detachment usually more than 3 months duration. They are found in about 3% of the eyes undergoing retinal detachment surgery. Macrocysts are believed to result from degenerative changes in retina and retinal macrocysts are fluid filled cavities that is not very different from the subretinal fluid. Occasionally there may be blood within the cyst. Hemorrhagic retinal cysts have also seen been described pathologically in eyes enucleated for advanced Coats, Coats disease. The possible reason for blood in the cyst could be <coughs> a rupture of the retinal blood vessels in the cyst cavity and this could be a recurrent ph phenomenon. That's why I ruptured the cyst and flattened the retina. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shantanu. Uh, I have a few questions, like whether this cyst was preoperatively visible or not? Not, not visible. It was there at the periphery? Normal uh, vascularization, but that is not clear due to the cataract changes. In the complicated legs. cataract was there, media was also PVR yeah. changes, which yeah. haze was there. So it was not, it was at very periphery. It's, it's very such periphery. Such a large cyst, and what do you think it is? It is a sign of old RD. And uh, hemorrhage. Three months. Hemorrhage is very uncommon. Uncommon. Uncommon, but uh, it it is uh, reported uh, 2011 in Oman Journal of Ophthalmology from Shankar Netrala. They uh, buckle the retinal detachment, mm -hmm. and they had a persistent cyst for the three years. Three years. That that is not settled because once that the was a scleral settled, buckle the surgery. Cyst automatically settled. That was a scleral buckle surgery. Buckle surgery. Buckle surgery. Hmm. So whether uh, this you're uh, rupturing the cyst and draining the blood was at all necessary at this moment or not? Yeah, money, uh, re seeing re retrospectively because if the vessels is patent and if the vessel persists and there is a chance of recurrent hemorrhage in inside the cyst and that will lead to a persistent cyst inside the cavity. So opinion, Dr. Atul? So if this case comes to you today, whether you will rupture the cyst or not? After going through the all the literature, yes. so, so this nice case settled nicely. <laughs> this case settled nicely, but, but probably not. Because in this type of in this case, the primary break was uh, infranasal side. Yeah, yeah. It was quite far from your cyst. Yeah. It was quite far from, from your cyst, and cyst was not hindering in the settlement of the retina. No, no. but the, the posterior end of the cyst, the, the laser is not taken that no, time. Even if you will not do the laser, yeah, that just leave it like that for the next 5 years, 10 years or 20 years also, what, uh, what uh, harm it will do? Nothing. He was in fear of uh, recurrence of the hemorrhage or aggravation of this hemorrhage. Dr. Uh, Will you will you rupture it or not? Because to make a m one more break, we yes, are we, we increase are the chance of PVR. Uh, increasing the chance of PVR formation. Yeah, that's true. And that's true. And in this case also, there was no buckle, belt buckle also, and it is it was not supporting that area. Yeah. So that will increase. No, he, has, the he has done the nicely basic uh, session. That uh, is true. But uh, rupturing the cyst means you are going to the intercyst cavity. Yes. So he is doing laser also. So I think uh, increasing chance of PVR is not nice. Yes. But okay. today, uh, in today's scenario, I am not going to rupture the cyst. He is not going to rupture the cyst. <laughs> that is your. So all of us are with you, Dr. Atul. Now we are inviting you to present. Thank you, sir.